Good morning. Oh, I need to turn this a little bit. Hold on, y'all. This thing is a bit too far away from me. Just a bit too far away from me. Good morning. Uh, okay. The janky janky is unjankying. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing today? Oh. Yeah. Ooh, that's not nice. Good morning. Come on, everybody. Come on into the morning tea. Good morning. Miranda! How are you, Miranda? Oh, good Lord. Okay, I think let's try that, maybe. Good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful day today, y'all. How y'all doing? It's cold, but it's still beautiful. Oh my goodness, this thing is refusing to be nice to me. Okay, all right, then don't be nice to me today then. The show must go on. How is everyone today? Good morning, Miranda. Oh. Okay, there we go, there we go. There we go. So, y'all, we got some things to do this morning. Let me go read from the top. Let's see who is in the building. Lisa Y, good morning. Tamika, morning, 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 my girl. Walk on today. Sunshine and sweet tea, good morning. Angie, good morning. Kim, Miranda, Melly, Corinna, good morning. Unique, good morning. Jorina, Elizabeth, how are you? Well, I'm glad you checked in on us, girl. I'm glad you checked in on us. Larissa, good morning. Monica Woodley, good morning. Cindy, what's up? Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm testing. I've got way too many skinny notebooks already, Elizabeth. Variety Mix, how you doing? Corp Diva, good morning. Glam Shop, good morning. I think I'm at the end. Yes. Okay. I'm at the end. So we're doing several things this morning on the morning tea. Let me read it off for you so I can tell y'all what we're doing today so that the squirrels don't be stealing my, my joy, okay? These squirrels be attacking me and trying to steal my joy. So, one of the things we're doing this morning, of course, we are going to be doing the daily word today. Look, y'all look at my fingers, okay? We're going to talk about this. We we are doing the daily word today. We are doing my Erin Condren list uh, from yesterday. We are finishing that off. We are doing the coupon deals that I did purchase yesterday that I did not go ahead and put on my Instagram stories. Uh, uh, we're going to go over that. And we're going to find out how many half sheets. How many half sheets is going to fit on this classic size disc? Y'all know that's a burning question. Raise your hands if you have had that burning question. How many half sheets can fit on these classic size discs? So we're going to answer that question today. Because uh, we are. I was trying to put, pick out some, um, some of these, what do you call these, discs. But what had happened was... Um, uh, I don't think I have enough of that one. So we're gonna use we're gonna use a, a color that we normally would not use. Yeah, hold on. We just gonna make a no whole bunch of noise. Hold on. I mean, I'm sorry. That's just we just gotta make some noise. I'm gonna use these, and these are from the budget the budget planner, <sighs> which means that I'm probably going to have to some way somehow sometime uh, make a cover for this, which is okay. It's all good. It's all good. You know, it's all good. Sugar, Shalice, good morning. You've been curious about that too, um, Elizabeth? It burns, honey. It burns like hot pepper in my eyes. It burns, and, I, and we need to know. We need to know. It's an important question, and we need to know. Two, four, six, seven, eight. I need one more. One more. Nine. Here we go. Aren't they beautiful? These are just so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. They're beautiful. I might even cut up that budget. Um, 
I might cut up the budget cover and put on there <laughs> because, you know, we don't need the budget cover like that. So now we got to go noise to put them back in. Noise to put them back in. Hold on. Noise to put them back in. Hold on, y'all. It's like we. It's like Scrooge McDuck counting his money. Counting my disc, y'all. Counting my disc. Y'all just going to have to hear the noise for a moment. Y'all know this is what it sounds like. And that's what you do at home. And I'm at home. Ooh. Ooh. And now they're all over the place too. All right. I think we got it. I think we got it. This, this, these are not the budget pages, Lisa. This is just the uh, uh, half sheet. But I have the budget. I have my budget um, mixed in with another planner. I well, some pages anyway. So I would have to kind of mix it in with that planner. Period. Uh, or find something else to put on it because I got more covers. I have more classic size covers that I can use. But when it comes to making making um, when it comes to making uh, covers for these, you you know you got to be specific and careful with what you choose because of the writings that are usually on the happy planner covers the words that's usually on the happy planner cover we usually have to be very careful about you know choosing the ones that we want yes i think so too so we're gonna settle that question renita what's up boo we're gonna um settle that question today have you cut classic covers to fit on a skinny before yes i, I have elizabeth how did you finish the ends where it has been cut okay uh let me let me see if i could go find one let me grab one real quick elizabeth hold on hold on to your love i do not own the no rights to that song or anything else so okay elizabeth already asking all these questions elizabeth um okay so i have these two that i did cut um, these are two different sizes. This one is for regular classic half sheets and this one is for um, sheets that are like, it's mini size, mini happy planner size ha um, half sheets. So I have those two. Now, you have two options whenever you're doing this. What you could do, Elizabeth, is what I normally do, I just leave it. <laughs> I just leave it because I always leave this front part is where I always leave it Um uh the original cover rounded section and then this end part i just leave it because i mean uh, it's not going anywhere and it does not really uh poke or anything like that so i would leave that your second option is if you have a crocodile there's a crocodile then you could go ahead and round your edges right you can round your edges off if you have a crocodile, and you could do I think it's quarter quarter uh, inch round or half inch round or something 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 like that uh, on the crocodile. Let's take a look. Whoop! This is a big girl crocodile. Okay, let me just let y'all know that. So yeah, quarter inch and a half inch. It's quarter inch and a half inch, and then you just select the one that you like the best. And round that baby off so you got those two options also if you do not have the big girl crocodile that right there <laughs> that right there some people are very good at using the scissors and just rounding their edges um Tamara's not Tamara's not and you know we have to find strength in our deficiencies and my strength in my deficiency is I'm very strong in buying a crocodile so yeah so those are your two options when it comes to rounding off your edges for anything that you choose to use Elizabeth, all right? Uh, you put the cut part on the inside. Yes, 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 yes. Jarena says you could put five packs on an expandable disc. Well, what had happened, um, Janelle, awesome, no problem. Natalie, good morning, baby. What happened is I really don't have matching expander discs right now i have uh something already on my expander disc the gold ones that i have 
I already have some paper. Y'all know my chunky paper. Y'all know I got. Y'all know I got this. Marisol, Marisol, good morning. So this is what I'm using for get your goal on right now. Um, this is what I set up to use for get your goal on. Okay, and it's got that expander disc on there. So yeah. So, and and it has uh, the reason why I don't know about the half sheets is because it actually has a whole planner inside here. It has that skinny that I got from um, a token that token blessed me with. It has that in the remainder of that, the planner babe, planner babe, planner babe, planner babe, I think planner babe, um, one inside of it. So today we're going to do this. We're going to do this. But right before we do this, we're going to get into the daily word because y'all know we need to do that. On the large happy planner disc, um, unique. Ooh, okay. Okay. I wonder if it depends on what which one of the paper it is, which it really shouldn't. Which it really shouldn't. It really should not. Okay, I'm going to do this first. Because, see, all y'all now into half sheets. Y'all just talking about these half sheets. So, this is um, the uh, wellness. I'm thinking this is the wellness. Bates, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm thinking this is the wellness. And this, good grief. And this is the whole um, pack, right? These are the whole packs that we're going to use. Stop Hey, Cam! Good morning. How are you? So glad you were able to stop by and say hello to us this morning. Burnside, good morning. Oh, good grief. So now we're going to have to try to see if we can keep these, keep this kind of steady. I feel like just songs in my head this morning. Every other word I say, I feel like I know a song for it. And I feel like I could sing it. And I'm singing it in my song. Singing it in my song? No, you're singing it in your head. Oh, you're singing it in your head. Denise, good morning. Welcome to the morning tea. We are now about to find out how, man, how many paper can fit on these classic size discs. Okay, because it's a burning question that we wanted to know. Because I, I need to know if, if I'm going to be able to have enough discs to fit all these paper. Jurina says five is chunky, but it's okay. Jurina, does any of your paper get squished? Because, you know, when you put too many paper inside of a thing, then it starts curling up the edges. Um, how, What's happening with that? It starts curling up the edges. <laughs> Lisa says sing it <laughs> Lisa's gonna be a whole bunch of different type of songs going on in here today she's gonna hear some gospel some country <laughs> you might even hear some um some opera going on in here <laughs> some show tunes <laughs> oh jeez gotta be careful when turning the pages okay uh-huh because I find that I don't like it when some are on here because are on the at least my other ones um, because it's, it turns my pages. It made my pages like this one is really chunky. Like you see, it's already like, I, let me see if you can see it. See how the pages are kind of flipping a bit. Yeah. Flipping my pages a bit like that. I don't like that. We don't like that at all. It's like, it's like, it's like when the, the, the shoe is, um, squishing the pinky toe. <laughs> This these shoes are squishing my paper pinky toe. We don't like that. See, that's one already. Like, how does that look more on the disc than it does in the pack? How does that look more on the disc than it does in the pack? Okay, so next we're gonna go to that looks more on the disc than it does in the pack. Oh, this is so pretty though with this. Oh, that's pretty. I gotta find a good cover for this one. Maybe a black and white stripe. No, I like the budget one, but the budget one got writing on it. The budget one got writing on it. What about the inside of the budget one? <gasps> yes, we're going to use the inside of the budget one because it got the piggies. It's got the piggies. But I don't, do you really want to cut up your budget planner cover, Tamara? Do you really want to do that? Do you really, really want to do that? These are the philosophical questions that I have to be pondering and asking myself, do you really, really want to do that, Tamara? Uh, I mean, you know, we're always taking one for the team. I'm sure I can find another one to purchase somewhere. 
<laughs> I'm sure I could go into my period of mourning and mourn the cover and then find another one that I love better. But but it's got the piggies, and the piggies deserve to have a spotlight, even if it's once in their life. They need to do they deserve to have a spotlight. You know, I mean, it's the only time I like the piggies. Okay, so this is two packs, y'all. Ooh, it's almost at capacity. I do not think it's going to hold three. I do not think we're going to get three. I don't think we're going to get three. Oh, my gosh. That's like at capacity. That's like at capacity. I don't think we're going to get cute. Don't do it. Shanice said don't do it. Marisol loves the piggies cute too. Yes. So let's see what I would feel comfortable with. So there's 60 sheets in here. So we're going to take 10 at a time. So that's 120. Okay, somebody put a paper pin and, and clip in that. Go write that down. 120. Y'all got to keep track because I'm not going to remember. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this will be a hundred and thirty. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh huh. That will be a hundred and thirty because then the cover would have to be. Let me let me borrow a cover temporarily. Let me temporarily borrow a cover. And this is the inside of the this one that I'm using now. A hundred and 30 somebody better write that down angela melvin good morning what's up miss washington do not cut the cover shalise but the piggies are so cute okay that's good that's so good 130 one two three four five six seven eight nine 10. This would be 140. Okay, and that's still pretty good. Still pretty good. So I'm thinking 10 more. So that's 140. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm thinking comfortably, really, really looking sexy. Uh huh. Two and a half packs. That's it. That's it. Because you see, you, you see how that's starting. That's like when it starts to do that to go on. You bet. I, I, mm. <laughs> yeah. So I would say 140. I would say comfortably 140. Right? Is that what what is that what that is? So. Or 150. That's 150. Okay. 150. Thank you. I would say comfortably 150 and no more. I would I would say 150 and no more. Okay. Uh that you see that? I mean that's that's pretty full. If you do any more, and I'm gonna try it for those people who are like, no, do more, do more. One. I mean 150, I'm sorry. I would say comfortably 152. Three. Uh-huh. When you have to start doing that. Four. Five. Eight. 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 Yep. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm. So you could force to 155, but that's still pushing. Y'all see, look, it's not even, there's no space. There's no space. 155. 156. I'm trying to, this, this is what the people, this is what the people who push it do. They start on this side. 157. <laughs> 158. <laughs> 
159. Oh my goodness. You know you got plenty of babies who be pushing the envelope. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look. <laughs> oh, 160. Right? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, okay. See? Okay. What happened here now? It's uh, okay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. 160 and you're like, you're absolutely done. You're absolutely done. 160. 160. Yeah, that's it. That's it, y'all. That's it. Done. So forcefully 160, comfortably 150. We need to write that down somewhere. <laughs> we need to write that down. Let me get my, my notebook. <laughs> I'm going to write that down right in here on the on this. Because, see, look, look, all my pages be all twisted up in this one. Because I obviously got too much in here. Um, and this is half sheets on classic discs. Um, we said 150. Um, best 160. Ooh, ooh, I don't need, uh, if I must. <laughs> there we go. 160 if I must. And I'm not going to take that the rest of that off. So there we go. Oh, the question has been answered for the day. Um, Half sheet uh, classic on this one. Forty is best. One sixty is pushing this. <laughs> you meant to put the uh, uh, the other side. You do that too, Jarena. Yes, Cindy. These are classic size discs. These are classic size discs, not expanders. These are classic size discs. Um, uh, Elizabeth would say one thirty to one forty comfortably for her. Okay. Uh, what you're saying is you have done this before in a different planner. Shalise, <laughs> yes, because right now the ones that I do have, um, let me, I, like I was just showing you, you know, I have these half sheets that I'm using, but I also use, like, I, you can't even see how it's lumped. You see how it's bumped? The thing is, I have other things inside of this on the pages. So instead of only this being plain, no paper, I have these things in here. So this takes up space. So I can't fit as much in, in there as I would have if I had this, um, didn't have this. Plus I have this in here. So this also, you know, is pretty thick and it takes up more space. So I can't fit as many as I would like in there. But um, yeah, I have some pages that are in the front sections, not the middle sections, but in the front sections that I just kind of shared that are already twisting up a storm, right? They're twisting up a storm. And I'm like, I don't want my pages. Look, look at the look at this one, because it's like, no, we can't hold. We can't fit. We can't fit. You're forcing us. Look look right here. We can't fit. We can't fit. So that's what happens when you close it. it this is it, this is it happens. That's what happens when you close it. So when you have too many other things um in there, you just got to be careful like how many you're putting on them. So I just wanted to get an an idea of if I had this just plain with nothing excepting this, how how much would I be able to fit in there? Let's see if I can sneak this. I could sneak that too. Okay, let's see if we can sneak that. Yep, we could even sneak the pen holder in there, y'all. So you could just get a plain one with a pen holder and you'd be good to go. Yeah, let's try it here. That's cute. That is so cute. This is so cute. Yeah. So that is maximum, um, I would say. And that is probably either storage or usage is going to be between 140 and 160, depending on what your comfort level is going to be. So someone had said something about the cover. 
Char, good morning. Kathy Leo, good morning. Storage won't get used if, uh, as if it was added to your planner. Right, exactly, exactly. What cover did you use or did you make the cover? This cover, Unique, um, is from the planner. Uh, Planner's got a plan. This is the, uh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Y'all tell me what this is. Squad. Squad girls, squad goals, one of that. This was the mini that was sent to me by Token. So I have the um, insides, the half sheet one. The insides is in here, and then I have the cover that I'm currently using on something else. I'm going to have to make one for this. Yes, it's inside out. Isn't it pretty? It is so cute. B big ideas. You know I got all of them all the time. I love this. Look, I even got a pouch. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. But I can't keep this on here. I'm going to have to make a cover for it today or find one somewhere somehow um, to, put, to put these on. But I'm keeping these on here. And then these, we're going to have to find some place to put the rest of these. Let me put, put a, one back in one of these for now. Because if you're like me, you have half sheets and we need to do something with these half sheet packs. You have it right in front of your face. Oh, <laughs> no problem. No problem. Uh, no problem at all. So let's put this up and then we're going to dig into the daily word. Now that we have answered this question and all, and all 58 of y'all know the answer to this question. So then that means next time that I ask, somebody could remind me that, ma'am, are you forgetting X amount was able to fit on that? Look, this one, look, it don't even want to uh, go go in anymore. It's like, what are you doing? Should I turn this inside out now? Nope. We're going to keep it just like this because that's how I like it. Look, you know when your, your stuff is thick, when the covers don't even want to go on. You know your stuff is thick. Look, you know, the covers, you know your stuff is thick when the cover don't want to go on. Lola Linda, good morning. You got to, you got to coerce it. Uh, if you're asking how many you have, oh my gosh, y'all look. <laughs> it don't even want to close. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't even want to close. Um... I'm they some of these are just storage some of these are just storage uh like this one I just wrote um some of these are storage some of these I use like I said this one is get your goal on so it has other things inside of it um because I like storing my um half sheets on my disc so that way I'm using my disc instead of having all of my beautiful disc in a jar I'm using my disc, so I store paper on them for the most part. And then sometimes I'll just pick it up. Sometimes I'll use it as a daily planner, so it would be my daily sheet um, instead of my uh, my daily um, petite planner. I could use this instead of my daily petite planner, etc. So different things. I use it for different things. Sometimes it's just to jot stuff down. Like yesterday, um, I had in this yesterday... Did I? What did I do? Y'all, I, you know what I did? I flipped my whole thing inside out and round and about. Hold on. This is not how it's supposed to be. This is not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like this. So this is the front. So yesterday what I did was when I went to, um, what is this? Uh, Walgreens. I wrote down like my scenario. And uh, when I got into Walgreens, I wrote all my stuff down. So this is my transaction I did yesterday, which I'll be sharing with y'all. So I use it for different things. Different, different things. Boom. See, it is list and note sheets. Different things as needed. I hope that helps you out. Ooh, ciao. Ooh, ciao. It is so chunky, she does not want to close. So I can't put anything else in there. All right, so next thing we're going to go into now, we are going to dig into the daily word. And the daily word today actually gives y'all some homework. I hope y'all ready for a little bit of homework. 
um, as well. Uh, let me pull it up. I hope y'all ready for a little bit of homework. And this homework is going to be in preparation for tomorrow, right? This homework is going to be in preparation for tomorrow. So get your pen and your half sheets because I know you got like 55 million half sheets that y'all just pulled out while I was playing with my half sheets. Some of y'all was playing with y'all half sheets too. So pull out your little half sheet. Um, and your homework for tomorrow is going to be, let me go back and get into my lesson. We are on lesson number eight. Da, 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 da. Oh, good Lord. Uh, and I need to go to the inverse. I need to go to the inverse to be able to give you exactly the one that you need. Okay, wait, now how do I get back to that right here? Lesson number eight. I was I had it on my phone this morning. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if I missed any of your chat. My thing somehow was on um was on top chat and I did not notice it on the phone. It was on top chat. I do uh apologize for that. Um let me get it and I'll tell you we are going to be doing ooh. I think it was Hebrews. Yes. Um, so for tomorrow, everybody, I need you to re read Hebrew chapter 11. Somebody please type it into the um, comment section. Hebrew chapter 11. Um, it's only like 40 uh, um, verses. So read that for tomorrow. We are going to be digging into that tomorrow. Not really digging in, but we're just going to be kind of um, going into Hebrews tomorrow and making reference to it. So I want you all to, to know what we're talking about. Um, no, the whole chapter, Larissa, the whole entire chapter. It's only 40, 40 verses. Yes, thank you, baby. I do appreciate it. So Hebrews chapter 11, all of them. So today we are going to go into something that I think is really, really good. I think is really good. Heavenly Father, as we open up your word, please open up our minds. Give us your wisdom. Give us insight. Open up your word to us, Father Lord, so that we can understand what you are saying to us in your word. So we're still on the topic of education, right? And this is education and redemption is the name of the study for this week. I'll be reading from Sunday's lesson, which I think is really, really important as well. Um, the reading scriptures is Genesis 1 verse 26 and 27. Which state, then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. Um, then Genesis five, verse one, it says, this is the book of the genealogy of Adam, um, in the day of, in the day that God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. Then we have Genesis five, verse three, and Adam lived 130 years. Y'all heard that? And Adam lived 130 years and begot a son in his own likeness after his image and named him Seth. Um, and a lot of times we don't even talk about poor Seth, right? Um, as well. So those are the uh, scriptures that would be referenced. And the question that is asked, what do these texts teach about how God originally created humanity and then what happened to humanity after sin? You've got to, you know, go deeper into the lesson. Um, and that's what it will get with you on. So I'm going to read this real quickly, as quickly as possible. And then any comments you have, please feel free to put them in the comment section. Let's talk about this. Talk to me, right? Talk to me. It says the phrase, the image of God has captivated interpreters of the Bible for centuries. 
what is the image in which the first humans were created? And I'm going to post that question for you all today. To your knowledge and to what you know, what is the image? When you say the image of God, write down what you think of or what you your knowledge is of what the image of God is. So it says, for example, uh, and no matter what I said during my talking, keep ty typing it and putting it in the section. It says, for example, does it mean that God looked in a mirror and formed his new creation to look like himself? Or does it mean that humans are more like God than all other forms of life are? Or does it refer to a spiritual and intellectual similarity and compatibility between the creator and his human creation? The scriptures do not give any precise explanation of this ex expression, even though scholars have derived from scripture many interpretations of what it could mean. However, we can see that after sin, this image had been changed, which is why um, it, it's written, the goal of education is to restore in man the image of his maker. Um, how can education achieve such a remarkable goal? That's the question. First, we need to remember that God made us to have a relationship with him. Um, somewhat as parents do with their children. He made us in his image the same way human parents have children in their image. Genesis 5.1 So that he can bring us up to be his children who belong to his family. He can communicate with us and uh, with us and form a lasting relationship with us. The image of God, therefore, is more of a mental image that enables two beings, one divine and the other human, to have a meeting of the minds. This is precisely what happens in education. Evidently, God intended this process of education we know so well when um, this, oh, I'm sorry, let me do that again. Evidently, God intended this process of education we know so well when um, distinguishing us from other, from many other life forms. He made us in his own image. He did it so that he can teach us and we can learn from him until his image, his mind in um, uh, uh, quotation parentheses, is reflected in ours. Let the mind that was in Christ Jesus be also in us, right? Um, and then when our minds are of the same purpose, same goal, right? Creating that oneness as well. Um, let's see what it says. He made us in his own image. He did it so that he can teach us and we can learn from him until his image, which is his mind, is reflected in ours. The story of redemption is a story of education from creation to incarnation and from incarnation to reincarnation. I'm sorry, to recreation, to recreation. There's a big difference. God is a teacher and heaven is a school for all time. What are the implications of this thought for our commitment to Christian education at home, in church, in school, in university, and throughout life, right? That was, that's the question. And then the additional reading says, the life of Christ is to be revealed in humanity. Man was the crowning act of the creation of God. Made in the image of God and designed to be a counterpart of God, 
but Satan has labored to obliterate the image of God in man, right? Our minds have been corrupted. And to imprint upon, uh, upon man his, the devil's own image, right? He wants to imprint his image upon our minds instead of our minds being stayed on Christ. Because that's what the word says, right? We got to keep our minds stayed on Christ. Man is very dear to God. Raise your hands if you believe that. Man is very dear to God because he was formed in his own image. He did not form all his other creations in his image. He formed men in his image. This fact should impress us with the importance of teaching, pre teaching by precept and example the sin of defiling by the indulgence of appetite or by any other sinful practice, the body which is designed to represent God to the world. Oh, Lord, Lord. Um, so we should not, um, you know, teach nor partake in those things that um, indulge the appetite, sinful practices um, against the body. Mm -hmm. that is designed to represent God to the world. In these days, much is said concerning the nature and importance of higher education. The true higher education is that imparted by him with whom is wisdom and strength, Job twelve thirteen, out of whose mouth cometh knowledge and understanding, Proverbs 2, 6. We refer to those scriptures previously. In a knowledge of God, all true knowledge and real development have their source. Wherever we turn in the physical, mental, or spiritual realm, in whatever we behold, apart from the blight of sin, this knowledge is revealed. Whatever line of investigation we pursue with a sincere purpose to arrive at truth, we are brought in touch with the unseen, Mag mighty intelligence that is working in and through all the mind of man is brought into communion with the mind of God the finite with the infinite right um, the effort of such communion on body and mind and soul is beyond estimate the effect I'm sorry the effect of it is beyond estimate Tanya good morning welcome into the morning tea Thank you for joining us today. Um, uh, in this communion is found the highest education. It is God's own method of development. Acquaint now thyself with him. Job twenty two twenty one 21 exhorts us. Is his message to mankind. The method outlined in these words was the method followed in the education of the father of our race, which is Adam, right? When in the glory of sinless manhood, Adam stood in holy Eden, it was thus that God instructed him. The grace of God must sweep through the chambers of the mind. The imagination must have heavenly themes for contemplation and every element of the nature must be purified and vitalized by the spirit of God. Y'all! Do y'all ever, rem uh, you know, think about where some of your the things that come into your imagination come from because they are not heavenly themes? <laughs> Am I the only one? I'm like, where did that come from? That is not a heavenly theme contemplation that came into my mind. So we must make sure that we strive that all of these things are purified and vitalized by the spirit of God. Every chamber of the mind it says i need to highlight that hold on a second y'all i'm coming to finishing up just now but i need to highlight that because yeah that's gonna go in the book the thoughts must be bound about restricted withdrawn from branching out and contemplating things that will only weaken and defile the soul ouch we're going to do that too. We're going to highlight this whole section. The thoughts must be pure. Okay, raise your hands if you are brave enough. I don't know. Raise your hands if you've had an impure thought since the morning this morning. Or 
It says the meditations of the heart must be clean. Raise your hands if you had an impure med meditation of your heart already this morning. Who were you like? I'm going to smack this person. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, ciao. Like when we go into the store and we're like, well, I mean, if I buy this planner and I take the disc off and take them back to the store, I mean, ain't nobody going to notice. <laughs> oh, ciao. Uh, who, what do we call them? The planner mafia? The planner mafias? Okay. Uh, so it says the thoughts must be abound, restricted, withdrawn from branching out and contemplating things that will only weaken and defile the soul. The thoughts must be pure. The meditations of the heart must be clean. The noble powers of the mind have been given to us by the Lord that we may employ them in contemplating heavenly things. God has made abundant provision that the soul may make continual progression in the divine life. Um, and that ends the reading this morning. And that is food for thought for us today. That is food for thoughts. Um, the word of God says we have to guard the avenues of our minds. And it's very important because our mind is where our likeness to God really is, right? Our likeness, our image is really in our minds, our divine connection. That is where we have that divine communion, right? Our, is our, 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 our thoughts heavenly bound thoughts? Are we contemplating things that are profitable for the kingdom? What is it that we are thinking about? Um, the word of God also says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So if we're thinking vain and corrupt things, then we are vain and corrupt. We have to be careful of the things that run through our mind. It says we have to bring them under submission. We have to bound them and keep them from running wild. Like we have to keep them from running wild. Do, have, have you ever noticed sometimes that maybe you're sleeping and you're having a dream and you realize that you're having like a little dream and you wake up and go back to sleep and it was something that you really didn't want to continue dreaming about, but then it continued anyway. You're like, what? Is, why is this thing continuing? You try to shift your mind and then it's still moving and going in the story. The plot thickens. I don't know if anybody else ever experienced that. Um, but we have to bring those thoughts. We have to bind them. We have to restrict them or else they will run amok and they will defile us. They will defile the mind, defile the body, defile the thought. And when those things are defiled and corrupt, and so we become as well, it is so important, so important. We take lightly the things that we allow into these different avenues of our minds, the mind that really and truly is the likeness of God in us. Oh, we. And so let us take a little bit more seriously, um, you know, that. Let us think on that today. Think on that. Um, there is, hold on, let me pull this up. Let me pull something up and I want to definitely go ahead and read that. And I know y'all know this too. This is why we have this admonition here as well. And I'm going to be reading from, um, do, 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 the um, new international version, if this is going to come up. And this is taken from Philippians chapter four, um, verse starting at verse eight. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything has excellence, or praiseworthy think on such things whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me put it into practice and the god of peace will be with you so please make sure that we are thinking on the things that are true noble right pure lovely admirable excellent and praiseworthy. If it is none of those things, y'all, oh boy, toss it in the trash. Let us learn to toss it in the trash, okay? I hope this reading has um, 
has um, been a blessing for someone this morning, have given someone some food for thought this morning about the likeness or the image of God um, in them and the things that 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 God wants to 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 build with us through our likeness. We have to keep our mind stayed on him. Um, and at the moment, <clears throat> you did correct it without even knowing the subject was going to come um, to pass. God is so good. Amen. Um, unique. Amen. Yes, where the mind goes, the man follows. And this is also evident in the commandments of God. Because, um, you know, God says, uh, Christ said, hey, thou shalt not murder. I'm just going to take it a step further. I'm going to take it a step further to say, you shall not even think evil against your brother. Don't even think evil against your brother. Don't even go there because if you have thought the evil, you've already committed that, that crime. If you've thought about murdering, you've already committed that murder, okay? Because um, your, your thoughts are going to lead to your actions. Your thoughts are going to lead to your actions. And so we have to be so careful with our mind, that powerful tool that is our mind. Sometimes we're like, why did you do something? I don't know. My mind told me to do it. Have anybody ever given you that answer? Have your kids ever given you that answer? I don't know. My mind just told me to do it. My mind just told me to do it. So we have to be very careful about this powerful instrument um, of the mind that God has given to us. And imagine we have this powerful instrument of the mind and we are weak in willpower. Mm. We are weak in self-control. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your mercy and your love towards us this morning. Thank you for your word that you have opened up, oh God. We ask that you continue to strengthen us day by day, moment by moment. Continue to grow us in your likeness. Help our minds, oh God, be purified and cleansed so that it can be more in connection and in line with you. The same mind that was in your son, Christ Jesus, please let that mind be in us as well so that we can be one, O oh God. We thank you so much for the teachings that you have left for us through your servants, through your prophets. We thank you for that as well. Thank you for your continual guidance. Help us to apply this wisdom that you have granted to us today, O oh Lord. Let us not wait for tomorrow because <laughs> tomorrow is not promised to any of us. But let us apply it today and impart it to others as well, teaching them your word, but not the doctrine of men. In Jesus name, we ask and thank you for this light. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right, y'all. So I hope the word was good for y'all this morning. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my haul with you all. And then um, after the haul, we're going to go to my EC list that I'm making. So if you're going to be purchasing anything from EC, please make sure that you're using my links down below in the um, uh, description box. I'm going to put that out there early, but we're going to go over my Walgreens haul. Now, um, for those of you who, who have Ibotta, you want to make sure that you go and do this particular Ibotta deal right here. Now, I'm in a period of stocking up on certain things. So you will see a lot of my hauls being almost the same. S very similar, I should say. Very similar. So one of the things that was at Walgreens, and the first thing is the paper towel. Don't mind my madness, y'all, because my madness... Okay, well, let me, let me um, do this first. Uh, your links do not show in the description box. Okay, I do. Okay, so once the video posts, everybody go into the description box. Once the video posts, see if it is if it's in there. If it's not in there, check one of my regular videos. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can update that again because this whole thing. Yeah, I did update it the other day, but I'm gonna try to see if I could do it again. Um. So, first things first. There's a new program at Walgreens. It's called My Walgreens. You're going to need to be sure to join My Walgreens or update your current 
um, re register rewards, your rewards program to make sure that you're on my Walgreens. There was a coupon that was on there to be clipped. It was a, um, you get a different amount. You get a different amount. I ended up getting a $5 off a $20 purchase coupon inside of my Walgreens app. I can't show it to you because it's on my phone and I'm on the phone. So you might get something different. People were getting $5 off a $10 purchase. People were getting, um, uh, you know, five, a six off 26 or six off 30s, different amounts. So you might get one of those as well. And so you'll be able to do your deals depending on what you're getting. But please make sure you go ahead and do that. You have to sign up for the My Walgreens program pretty soon before you lose your points. Your points will automatically transfer over, okay? Um, you won't lose your points by signing up for this new thing. So anyway, I clipped that and I clipped a couple other coupons. I'm going to share them with you, the coupons that I clipped as I do this deal. So I did go ahead and buy two more packs of paper towels. Tamara, why on earth are you buying so many paper towels? Well, I'm buying paper towels because remember, I do have also my 10% pile. So I'm putting together two, um, like a gift basket for others that I'm going to be gifting. Um, so the things that I purchase for myself, some of those items I also purchase for those gift baskets as well. Um, so if I, like if I purchase you have four of these, two is going to be for me, and two is going to be for the gift basket. So I had previously purchased, um, I think, two of these and then um, some toilet paper. So, yeah. Anyway, this is the, um, this is the November savings booklet. This is found at the front of the store in your Walgreens. You'll be able to get this. So you um, are able to get this booklet in the store. You also should have this coupon in your app, but I like to have the paper one just in case as well. Um, Leslie said paper towels are not being able to be produced. There's a shortage um, and the supplies to make toilet paper. Look, y'all, okay? So I'm on a mission to stock up on certain things right now. Um, as well, and I do it conscientiously, which means that I take some and leave leave in the store like I got two this week. Um, and so um, two of these. And so next week, if they're still there, I'm probably going to get two more. <laughs> so uh, giving people, other people, an opportunity to get what they need. Plus, I also get stuff from different stores, CVS and Walgreens as well. Um, so you get to decide what you want to do. Anyhow, so here's the deal right here. Um, this 125 coupon is, um, attaching to the Scott paper towel. This six equals seven rolls is $5 in Walgreens. We talked about this previously. So $5 minus the 125, that is $3 and 75 cents. Now, in addition to this, um, in addition to, to, to this, there is a $2 off two manufacturer coupon. It's a digital coupon that is in your Walgreens app. Mm -hmm. So you are able to, um, you are able to add that $1 off of each one. So I purchased two, this, this 125 automatically comes off twice. And then my $2 off came um, off two came off as well. So that effectively made each of these $2.75 for each one for me. So I did I did purchase only the two because I had the $2 off two that was gonna give me my best deal. So that is one item that I purchased. That's a pretty easy transaction that you can go and do at Walgreens if you're very new to Walgreens um, as well. So you could just go in, make sure you clip the 125, make sure you clip the $2 off two, um, in your app, you, uh, show them your card or enter your phone number and both of those should come off. Boom. That's one. Um, I also did pick up, let me grab my little bag here. Cause I got some stuff in here. Okay, 
um, try to find Am I missing one? Oh, good Lord. I think I am, uh, da da. okay, toothpaste, right? Because once again, like I said, we are putting together a bag, container. So I make sure that I have stuff for the um, bags, plus I have stuff for home, especially when toothpaste is like free or close to it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, raise your hands if you like the price of free or 50 cents toothpaste. So I'm going to share this deal with you right now. Um, and all the coupons that I use, y'all, was on the Walgreens app. They were all digital because that's just the phase that I'm in right now. I did, you know, purchase. I, we were out of town, so I couldn't get my newspaper this week. I purchased it last week. But most of the ones that I'm doing right now are digital. So. These are on sale for $3.99 for each one of these at Walgreens. Um, there's an offer that when you purchase two, you are going to get back, I think it is $4. Um, you're going to get back $4. So the $4 you get back is going to be in points on your card, right? I don't care, points, register, reward, uh, but it's the points. So... Um, on the Walgreens app, there was a digital coupon available for $3 off two. I clipped that $3 off too. So if you only wanted to do toothpaste, good morning, sir. Morning. You just scared me coming in here sneaking. My son did a ninja move. Yeah, just knock or something. Y'all, he did a ninja move and scared the heebie-jeebies out of me. So um, there's a $3 uh, digital coupon. Plus, remember, you're getting $4 back. So if you wanted to go to the store to do this, you would be pick this up. Uh, already clip your coupons. Pick this up. Take it to the register. The $3 would come off. You'd pay $5 plus taxes. And then you would get back $4 worth of points. So therefore, it would be costing you a um, dollar plus tax, right? So a dollar plus tax. It will cost you. Not bad for uh, your Colgate total. And this is the large container, which is the 5.1 ounce containers. Now, if you have Ibotta, y'all, if you have the Ibotta app, there is a rebate back on these in Ibotta. It is a dollar on each one uh, in Ibotta. You can do a total of five items and get back $5. Or I did my two items and so I got back $2. So for me, because I got back my $4 in points, plus I did the Ibotta, I was able to get this for totally free, plus it actually gave me a dollar, what we call money maker. okay? So that was a dollar money maker for me. I did submit my Ibotta rebate before I left the parking, no, no, let me not lie, I actually did it in CVS parking lot. <laughs> so I did it in CVS parking lot, and then I actually got back my money already from Ibotta same day, not too long after I submitted that. So this is already come full circle and finished. So this one was already, this one is uh, free. Let me know if you have any questions, y'all, on any one of these that I'm sharing, anything I'm sharing, let me know if y'all have any questions. So stocking up on toothpaste or helping someone else to stock up on items like this is definitely a good thing if you're able to do so. So these two are going to go together with the um, the uh, the giveaway stuff that I have. So the next thing that I did purchase was a bottle of all laundry detergent, okay? Um, I, you know, wasn't kind of looking out for this last, for this, for this, this week. But when you do see things like this at the price that they are, you need to make sure you uh, just grab it and stock up on it. So this all was on sale at Walgreens for $2.99 and there's a $1.50 digital coupon on Walgreens in the app. 
And so this is very simple. You use $3, you go to the register, you um, you clip the 150 coupon, you pay $1.50 for this plus your taxes. I mean, raise your hands if you wouldn't gift someone a $1.50 um, bottle of laundry detergent. Uh, if someone came and said, here you go, wash yourself 20 loads. I'm happy with that. Thank you. Thank you for saving me that money. So I did purchase that as well. Um, the next thing, let's do these. The next thing that I did purchase is, let me go here. Yeah. The next thing that I purchased because I, I've got these boys. I got these boys already. I did um, do some uh, deodorant, right? So this is a Dove and the Axe. These are on sale for two for $10. Y'all, I can't believe deodorant is like that expensive anyway. But anyway, it's two for $10. And with it being two for $10, there was a $3 off um, manufacturer coupon off of each one of these, off of each one in the app, the Walgreens app. So $10 minus $6, $3 on each. You have to get one of the it's a three dollars on the dove and three dollars on the axe because there's only one of each available um and i ended up paying four dollars for the two of this so in addition for to the two of these being four dollars there was also a um um there was also a two dollar register reward coming back to me for purchasing these two so i got a two dollar register reward printed out and most of you should probably know what a register reward looks like but let me um grab it real quick and i'll show you um there okay so it's a two dollar register reward and you can use this on your next in-store purchase. It does expire on 1130. So we have to make sure that I um, I use that before then, right? So this is in my little container that I put my, um, you know, coupons and stuff inside of. So this, after that $2 back, really ended up being a dollar for each one. And that's not bad for, you know, getting this for stinky boys. <laughs> it's not bad for getting it for stinky boys. Even if I did not have my boys, y'all, this would be great to put inside of a gift um, a basket as well for someone who does have either husband, um, boys, or just male, any male, period, dad, whatever, any male, period. That would be great to put in there for them. Um, question is... The seasonal box is out. Is it a good um, chance to try EC for the first time? What kind of items are in the box? Okay, Elizabeth, give me just a couple and then I'll tell you. Um, and if EC don't, if you don't have EC planner, will the items in the box work, work for you? Ooh, okay, I, I've got some thoughts on that. I'm gonna give it to you just now. So a couple minutes and we done. I, I only have two more things as a matter of fact. Two more sets of stuff. So, um, I also purchased these, and this is for me, and this is for Hubby. Because I did get this before, and Hubby liked, liked this. He was like, yes, yes. We I got it to try last week or the week before, and he said he likes this one. So, I went ahead and I grabbed him another one. These are on sale. I'm actually going to be put, putting up some more of these between Walmart um, and between Walmart and uh, Walgreens, I'm going to get two more Walmart at Walmart. Well, one more to make two. So these are also two for $10. Um, and with these being two for $10, there was a $2 and 50 cent off of the two coupon that was in the Walgreens app. So that brought it down to $7 and 50 cents. Um, for these two dry spray items and with this being 750 that now put me at a point where I could use my five dollars off of twenty dollar um, purchase coupon because I had two five dollar I'm gonna explain this a little bit I had two five dollars 
at Walgreens. I had, hey, Katrina, good morning. I had a $5 off a $20 purchase. And then I had another coupon that would give me 5,000 points when I purchased $20 worth of stuff. So I wanted to make sure that I actually purchased $20 worth of items after all of my coupons. Um, and I had some points I could have used, but I didn't. So I went in with the intention or with the mindset knowing I was going to actually spend about $20 plus taxes at Walgreens yesterday. Some people do not like spending any money, period. Like some couponers, they, and trust me and believe, I was at that point at some point. But I also know, um, you know, I have like my mindset is, is, is in a different place right now. So this transaction was very smooth and easy for me because my mindset is in a different place right now with this. So it wasn't a biggie. So I was able to do that um, yesterday. So I ended up getting this with it being $7.50. That's like $3 and some change. But anyway, less than $4 for each one of these, right? Less than $4 for each one of those that also would be a good gift now the last thing that i did put on here because after that my total was 1847 the last thing that i did put on here is probably the best cookies in the entire world i don't know do you know about this cookie does anyone know about this cookie that you really only get around the holiday time does anybody know about this good cookie that you get only pretty much about around the holiday time. This is like the best cookies in the entire world. If you have not tried these cookies, I need for you to go try these cookies. They are on sale for $2.99. And so I usually get each person their own can of cookies or tin. I usually get each person, I'm gonna I'm need y'all to listen to what I'm telling y'all, right? I usually get each person in our home their own tin because it'd be serious up in here. It'd be serious in this camp. There's a couple things we don't play with in the holidays time. We don't play with eggnog and we don't play with these cookies. Yeah, they can be so boring, but you have them with coffee. Ah, yeah. Listen, and there's a new one that has like a chocolate. It's like a chocolate flavored situation going on with it. There's a new one. There's a new one, y'all. One is chocolate. Uh, I think there's a new one or two. I got to take a picture and, and show it to y'all. But anyway, yeah. So I added this. So I added this. This is what I call, what we call a filler item. Okay. This is a filler item. It's mocha. Mmm. Yeah, this is a filler item. So filler items are usually less than $2.99, but this is my filler item. Like filler item for me has to be something that I'm going to use. So I ended up picking that uh, up. And what was my total? Where's my, oh, Lord Jesus. Tamara, don't wear your receipt at, girl. I don't know. Y'all, let me grab my little wallet. I think I organized up my wallet a little bit too much yesterday. Let's see. Let's see who is this. This is CVS. I didn't get anything much at CVS yesterday. Um, anyway, I ended up paying $24 and some change. Oh, man. Yeah, I got to find the receipt, y'all. Whatever, Tamara. Tamara's a hot, hot mess. Um... And I might have left it in the car because I did submit that rebate. And when I do the rebates I, and, and I do them in the car, I take the stuff out, y'all. Hold on. Let me make sure. I got my CVS receipts right here because that was the last thing that I did. Oh, good grief. So I think, uh, let me look with this one. Hold on. Right here. Right here. Right here. It's in the couponing thing. Right here. Right here. So let's let's do a little bit of math. Let's do a little bit of math. Um, so this is my receipt. Uh, da da da. So I got the um, uh, points. Get five thousand points when I purchase twenty dollars. Five dollars off when I purchase twenty dollars. So you see the five dollars came off right there. Um, so I am going to, hold on, let me make sure. Okay. All right. So let's do a little bit of math. Let's do a little bit of math. 
my total 2408 right 2408 then I got back that two dollars in register reward so that's 2208 then I started with uh, here I started with six dollars and seventy eight cents in points and I earned nine dollars and thirty six cents in points we're just going to do that uh, on the e easy um, thing. So minus nine dollars. Uh, what is that, y'all? Thirteen, right? So thirteen dollars, and then the two dollars that I'm getting back from Ibotta points register reward. So really and truly, after all that's said and done, I can say that I spent about $11 for all of those things yesterday. So that's usually how couponers calculate what their total uh, real and out of pocket is because I do have the register reward to spend again. I do have the points to spend again. And the Ibotta is available for me to be able to take out of Ibotta and bring it into PayPal and put it into my checking account. That's actual cash. Um, that's available right now for me to be able to use. So about $11 I spent for all that stuff. So basically what I did y'all, if I'm going to say $11, so basically I bought these two things and got everything else for free. That's one way you look at it. You just go to the store, you buy these two things, and you get two packs of, of paper towel, you get two deodorant, men deodorant, you get the um, two, two, two tubes of toothpaste, you get the all, and you get the cookies for free. Right? So that, that to me was not a bad deal, right? And like I said, I use, see, I use my half sheet to work that out. Cause I'll be scratchy scratchy so I use a half sheet to work that out so that is what I did at Walgreens yesterday CVS I only got y'all I just got some bleach um at my Walgreens my CVS and since I was getting bleach anyway I went ahead and I just purchased the paparazzi nail color um do I have the CVS bags no they're up on the counter I just bought nail color and then my friend that works in there, she was trying on all sorts of nail polish on my nails. I was like, girl, what, 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 what is really up with you? So that's what this is, is a bunch. I bought this one right here and I did not buy this one. This was the one that she tried on. This one and this one and this one. She tried on my nails. So I'll be doing my nails probably sometime today or tomorrow. Um, so what was the last thing, y'all? Uh, we did the half sheets. We did the coupon deals. We did the word. The EC list is the very last thing that I have to do. And I'm thinking I might have to put that off till tomorrow with y'all too. Because <laughs> it's already 920. And I, no, I'm going to do this by myself. And then I'll show y'all what is on my EC list. But to answer Elizabeth's question about the seasonal surprise box, and some of y'all can put y'all opinion in there. Number one, Elizabeth, the seasonal surprise box is a surprise. You might say, surprise, I like it. Surprise, I hate it. Surprise, it's okay. Surprise, I can or cannot use certain things inside of it. Um, what I will say is usually it is uh, people who do not have Erin Condren planners can use some of the items that are in the seasonal surprise box there have been items in the seasonal surprise box like one year we got an umbrella anybody can use an umbrella um one year we did we do have i know for a fact let me pull it up that in this seasonal surprise box there's going to be a cover because we have seen that so basically if you have a notebook right if you have a notebook or you're interested in trying an erin condren notebook then you are going to be able to um you're going to be able to uh here spoiler alert right here oh and i'm going to go to to their to their instagram um to see if anything else so this is a cover that's going to be in there it says believe blue star sparkle whatever it's going to be in there right so that is a spoiler alert what I would suggest for you, Elizabeth, this is one of the past seasonal surprise box. So they'll show you what the contents of, this is one for the umbrella. Ooh, this, we love this. I love this right here. Ooh, yeah, this was uh, last year, what we got for January. The same time last year. Anyway, 
Anyway, what I would suggest is go to YouTube and search Erin Condren Seasonal Surprise Boxes. And then how I decided that I was going to purchase the Seasonal Surprise Box this year. You okay, buddy? Yeah. Is I looked at what came out in the previous ones, you know, before the previous fall, the previous spring, the previous summer, um, the previous winter. And then I decided from there, yes, I like this particular thing. I'm going to go ahead and get this particular one as well. Um, sticky notes. Okay. So sticky notes um, came in that one. So I personally, for me, I'm definitely getting that because I have the on the go folio that is going to match with that. So I really do have to buckle myself down and purchase mine today. I didn't get to purchase mine. For those who are purchasing the seasonal surprise box, do that separate. Do not purchase other items with your seasonal surprise box. Shipping is um, free with the seasonal surprise box. If you purchase your seasonal surprise box along with other items, you may not get your other items until your seasonal surprise box ships. So that's why I say go ahead and purchase them separately um, as well. Um, so it's a hit or miss sometimes, Elizabeth. Sometimes you will like it. Sometimes you won't like it. If you have something inside of it that you do not like, you can always gift it. Look, this little planter. This is actually a planter, mid-century circle planter. Uh, it's really good weight. It's got some of my markers and things inside of it. Yeah, this came in one of the seasonal surprise boxes as well. So it's got different items that I think that you'd be able to use. Let's see if we can go into, I don't know, am I logged into Instagram? Uh, it's supposed to be like an app or something. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Um, whole tins. Oh, okay, sugar, sugar. I see y'all comments about the cookies. You always eat, uh, the one with sugar on top and leave the plain ones for someone else. It, oh my goodness, Elizabeth, your mom used to buy those when you were younger. Um, yeah, good. So you have them with your coffee and stuff. Order. Uh, you didn't order in 2029 20, is why you order all of them this year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So seasonal surprise box is a gift you get yourself. It's a surprise treat. Okay. Celeron and Burnside has her still on open. Um, the other sneak peek are notebooks were cute. Nori, was that on Instagram? Was that on Instagram? Let me, let me look up. Uh, because sometimes they have it uh, on their Instagram. Okay, I don't catch everything all the time, uh, but I'm 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 gonna look it up now. Yeah, on IG. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? Mm, that screen is dirty. That screen is dirty. That screen is dirty. Why is it not wanting to connect? Okay, I could take this off for just a couple minutes. Ooh. My internet has been so slow. Okay, so which one is it? Which notebook is it? No, that's not it. We know that's not it. We know. Why are you? Okay, go back out. Y'all, can y'all tell Tamara's learning how to use her stuff? Uh, you have the plain ones. Where's the sneak peeks? So you won't get FOMO. Okay, so I know it's not this. It's not that. It's not that. So it's not, ooh, the covers, y'all, ooh-wee. Uh, it is for petite notebooks in about, oh, yes, that's true. All right, let's see, for petite notebooks uh, in a box. Yeah, so I think definitely that would probably be a good one for you to start with, too, because the petite notebooks are for, uh, go back, here we go. Here we go, the beautiful ones. Oh, my gosh. So we don't know what's inside of it. Look no further for the perfect holiday gift. Our winter surprise box is just a week away. Um, mark your calendar. Yes, I like it. I like it. I likes it. So I wonder if they're like plain lined or something like that. I wonder if they are plain lined. So there we go. I likes it. I wonder if we're getting a pen or anything else in here. 
Uh, you put your pens too in the pot. Yes. Yeah. So many people did so many different things with them, but I like definitely like to have some of my pens in here um, as well. Um, so I reach for that. Those planners look cute. Yeah, they're look they're books. First of all, you do y'all see the like the actual purple? <laughs> yeah, so I do like that. Uh, so I need to hurry up and, and, and go place my order before these people buy it out. I, and these are going to go on my list. But anyway, we're not talking about that right now. Yesterday, I didn't get to do all the things I wanted to do yesterday because my brother came. Oh, y'all! I'm going to tell y'all about it tomorrow. I will tell y'all ab all about it tomorrow. So let's go ahead and make that a list. <laughs> with the stuff box lately you ordered jay's agenda cloth and paper now you think you should get the air con elizabeth go ahead use my link go ahead and get it <laughs> just go ahead and get it uh so that your telephone or tablet this is this is this is my tab this is a tablet this is a tablet i don't know who's putting that big thing to their uh ears okay so tomorrow first of all y'all like what date is tomorrow tomorrow is the 18th okay so tomorrow is the 18th um 11 18 we're gonna talk about a couple things tomorrow number one i want to talk about uh uh cooking a turkey Okay, turkey chefs and cooks, y'all better get y'all cooking a turkey life together for tomorrow, okay? We are not talking about it now, so don't start nothing. Y'all don't start nothing. It's eye trash. Yes, it is eye trash. <laughs> uh, okay, Nori, I see you. So we're talking about cooking the turkey. We're going to talk about uh, tomorrow, my brother's visit. And I got a gift ish, right? So we're gonna talk about that tomorrow. Uh, what else are we talking about tomorrow? We're gonna have our daily reading. And we're gonna talk about the fact that I'm still in pain, okay? Good, there we go. So we got a lot to do tomorrow, um, and tomorrow the, is Hebrew, what I said, Hebrew 11? 11 reference. Okay, so there we go. There we go. She's on a world tour, Leslie. She, she's on a world tour. I ain't even with that lady. She's on a whole world tour. So let me go ahead and make my uh, list. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, order, place my order. So the first one is the seasonal surprise box. I'm gonna go ahead and order that. And that one is gonna be $40. So that's the first one I'm gonna put on this list right now because we are about to go place that order. All right, y'all, thank y'all so much. I hope I answered all the questions. Um, if I missed any, I do apologize uh, for me not seeing that. But y'all know I was busy doing things. The one of me, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90 of y'all. Um, so let me know if... Um, let me know if you have any further questions that I would be able to answer for you all before I jet out of here. Uh, we get the Mickey Mouse planner. Uh, Joanne's is a Mickey Mouse planner. Joanne's is a Mickey Mouse planner, Miss Washington. Um, my, Walmart is the Disney, the Disney princess stuff is what everybody's looking for over that side. The Disney princess stuff, okay? Um, so if no further question, y'all, let's pray and close out. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your love, your mercy, and your grace. We thank you for continuing um, to be kind to us, to be caring and generous towards us, oh God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us these gifts and talents that you have given to us. Help us to be mindful of them. Father, today, connect our minds and help us to keep our minds stayed on you continually. Help us, oh God, to not go astray. Let these minds wander off uncontrollably, but help us to to, to, to consistently and constantly bring them back under submission to you, oh God. 
Help us to be more and more like you each and every day, Father. Let us learn what that is like and let us do it. Be obedient. Let us learn and let us do. Help us to think on the things that are true, the things that are pure that you want us to think on. In Jesus' name, we thank you for the victory today. For all of our sisters, oh God, that are um, you know having procedures, that are recovering from procedures, all of their uh, uh, spouses, family members, oh God, those that are grieving, those that are ill right now that need your healing, Father Lord, please, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask that you go ahead and heal us all. Father Lord, I thank you so much. Um, help us to be productive today. In Jesus' name, amen. Camelia, I've uh, already done that. It's already done, so go ahead and check it, babe. Check it and let me know, um, but it's already done. It's already done. That's a song, too, because it's all yeah, but I'm not going to sing that. <laughs> I'm not going to sing that. But it's already finished. It is all right done. Let me know if there's any problems, Camelia. <laughs> Let me know. Oh, boy. Y'all have a great day. I'm going to go over to Instagram uh, back again. I'm going to check what nonsense Elizabeth... Hold on, y'all. Before we leave, let me go ahead. Elizabeth, let me see if Elizabeth did her morning nonsense already. I'm going to show y'all what Elizabeth be up to in the mornings. Hold on. Let me see if she already did her morning nonsense. Elizabeth Elizabeth, and M. M is over there, too. Let me see. Let me go out. Don't worry. I'm going to expose y'all all day, every day. <laughs> oh, you. she hasn't done her IG check-in yet. She's about to do the IG check-in. Girl, you lucky. I was about to, I was about to expose the whole story. The whole story, okay, because she was over there yesterday talking about um <laughs> her 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 miscut stickers, her miscut stickers. But okay, y'all, love you, and I will see you all uh later. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye.